morning everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe before you go i'm going to be taking you along my day today as a first grade teacher um just a little recap for you this is my third year teaching i used to teach in a different state i used to teach in new york and then i moved to south carolina and i'm now teaching here just got married bought a house all the things so it's been a crazy ride but if you're interested in watching day in my life as a first grade teacher continue watching um i just walked through the door and guys i don't know but first graders are smelly i didn't have this problem last year <laughs> for some reason they're very smelly this year so i've been having air fresheners everywhere and i think i just want to bring in like i have some of the plugins that i think i should just bring in but i'm scared that it's not going to fill up the whole classroom and i really don't want to have to buy two and then have to keep up with two so i've been doing like different types of air fresheners I would love to do like a candle warmer, like not like a flame, but like a little warmer, but I don't know, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. But anyway, so I bought this and it smells so good, but I've just been spraying it and hopefully that does something because <laughs> it, I don't know, it, the smell drives me crazy. Anyways. Let's sit and I'll walk you through my day today. All right, so I don't know if I said it is Tuesday. <laughs> the air freshener went in my mouth. Tastes kind of good. <laughs> it is Tuesday. Yesterday, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I had a great day yesterday. We got a lot done. We had a wonderful day. And I'm hoping that we carry that into today. I'm um, just pulling up all of my slides right now. Yesterday, the day was so good. Like seriously, so good. So I'm hoping, hoping we have another good day today. Um, we've been talking about like the lesson of a story, the theme. So we did that for ELA yesterday and they kind of understood it. So we're gonna do that again today. Um, they'll practice in their independent reading books. And then we also have this app that I have to get them on to track their minutes. I forget what it's called, but it's here somewhere. I have to figure, oh, Beanstack. It's called Beanstack. So I have to have them like log their minutes for their reading. So I'm gonna do that today, introduce that to them. And then, yeah, writing, we're still working on our stories. Math, we started some shapes yesterday. We did 2D shapes, we talked about them, and then I let them explore, like I gave each group these, and I just let them explore with them. And then today we're gonna to do 3D shapes, but I actually have to find my, I have to get my 3D shapes. So I'll do that. Um, start my music. Morning going right. Um, so today we're doing 3D shapes and then we did a scavenger hunt yesterday. So I'm thinking of doing another scavenger hunt today for 3D shapes, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just do like one in the classroom. I don't know how, if they're gonna, had a lot absent yesterday so we were able to get a lot done <laughs> but I have a feeling everybody's coming back strong today so um yeah that's pretty much today so we'll probably do some sort of scavenger hunt or something and then <clears throat> yeah word study we're still doing vowel y today I want to focus on y making the i sound in like medial position of a word um so we're going to talk about that today I'm going to have them do some sentences for dictation um what else what else i think that's it so yeah um oh we're actually gonna do a shared reading today and it's a play it's reader's theater so we're gonna do the little red hen i'm so excited for this my kids did the three little pigs and they loved it so i'm hoping today that they i know they will they'll love that but i just hope that they don't yeah take it too far if you know what i mean it is almost seven o'clock, so I'm going to uh, move some desks around. Um, just really one desk, I just wanna scoot up because I need to keep a closer eye on them. And then I think all of the other desks are pretty much fine. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working with. And I will update you probably on my planning time today, maybe on lunchtime, whenever I get a minute to chat with you. And yeah. That's it. <laughs> Alright, I'm on prep now. I just bought some Oreos from the vending machine. I just love the fact that the vending machine 
fix a credit card or like a debit card. Because I just be swiping my life away on them vending machines. <laughs> Anyways, the day is going well. Um, sorry, I'm talking with Oreos in my mouth. The day is going well. Um, we've gotten pretty much through everything. We had the like a wax museum today. It was so cool. The fifth graders, um, like I guess, chose one person from that like played a important important role in Black history, and they had like little button. You press the button, and then they would start speaking about like their person that they were pretending to be. It was really cute, and the kids liked it. So um, we did that, and then that kind of like threw off our morning, but. Um, I wanted to show them the new app where they can track their reading minutes. So I had them scan in a book today. I think it's called Beanstack, I think it is. So they did that. And then we did a little bit of shared reading where we did some parts for, what is it called? The Little Red Hen. My brain is fried, you know. You know how it is if you're a teacher. Even if you're not a teacher and your brain is fried, you know you just can't think straight. <laughs> um, and then that was pretty much like, then we did guided reading groups. And then they did writing, math, and now they are off at PE. We did another scavenger hunt today. They did really well with it. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit crazier than it was because I have more students than I had yesterday. I had a lot absent yesterday. Um, but we're actually having a really good day. So I'm excited that you know, we came back on a good note. Um, I think tomorrow everybody will be back. So I'm hoping that we also have a good day tomorrow. Um, what else? I think that's it. We did 3D shapes today. I just talked about three, sphere, cube, and cone, because my kiddos were clueless. They had no idea what any of the 3D shapes were. Actually, they struggled with 2D shapes, which I was so surprised. Um, so yeah, I only did three 3D shapes today. Tomorrow I'll do the rest, like rectangular prism, and what's the other one? Oh, a cylinder. So we'll do that tomorrow. And then uh, we're also gonna do the marshmallow with the um, toothpicks tomorrow where they can make 3D shapes from the marshmallow and the toothpicks. So they should really enjoy that. And yeah, I have to print out some like cards for those so that they can build. I'm sure they have them on like TBT or something. So yeah. That's the day when they come back. It's take home Tuesday, so we go out for recess. But actually, we'll probably do indoor recess today because it's been like really rainy and like cloudy. So we'll probably do indoor recess, and then um, it's take home Tuesday. So we have to pass out like a bunch of papers and um, yeah. So that's pretty much our day. I'm gonna hopefully leave a little bit earlier today. And oh my gosh, it was so funny today because. <laughs> I filled in, I didn't fill in, I used like a tinted brow gel today, and one of my students <laughs> looks at me and goes, um, did you get your eyebrows waxed? <laughs> and I was like, no, why, do they look bad? And he was like, no, they don't look bad, they just look different, and I was like, oh. I was like, I, I tried to explain to him, I was like, I put like a little gel in them to make them stay, and then they were like, oh. But I actually did, I wax my own eyebrows. So like because of like COVID and everything, I now do my own gel nails and I do my own eyebrows because in COVID times, like we couldn't do that. So now I bought like stuff to wax my own eyebrows. So I do actually wax them and I did do it over the weekend, but they noticed today because they're a little bit darker than they usually are, but I don't think they look bad, do they? I think they're pretty much like a good color with my hair. I, don't know. I just thought it was so funny. <laughs> he was like, did you get our eyebrows waxed? I'm like, no. So yeah, you know, first graders, just how it is. But yeah, so I think I'm going to end this video here because not much is really gonna happen after this day, but I feel like we had a good day. We had two good days in a row and I feel like we haven't had that in a while. Well, let me knock on wood because I don't wanna jinx it just yet. We still have like an hour and a half left of school. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I feel like last week, like my last couple of videos have been me just like ranting about behaviors and I'm like, okay, two good days in a row, I will take it. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> so yeah, 
Okay, I'm gonna go. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you want to, you can subscribe and stick around so that you can see some more videos from me. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!